Hello, everyone, and greetings from St. Columbanus Church. You know, uh, a couple of months ago, we began this series on radical hospitality. We started thinking about this together as a parish community, and we've had these videos over these last months that have really helped us to think about what it means to be living radical hospitality. It's really been our focus together as a parish, recognizing that all of us, each of us as individuals, and us as an entire parish community, are really called to be living radical hospitality. We've talked about the fact that, that this was at the very heart, the very core, the very foundation of Jesus' own life, of his ministry, uh, of the mission that he was entrusted with while he was here on this earth. That Jesus was the one who went to those living on the edge, those who felt that they were pushed to the margins, those who were forgotten about in society. And Jesus was the one who came to give this great message that they were loved, that God loved them unconditionally, that they belonged in the life of the community. What we've been reflecting on together over these months is that all of us are called to be living radical hospitality. You know, if we believe in this spiritual journey, in our spiritual life, that part of living as a disciple of Jesus is to become an imitator of Jesus. That our life, who we are and what we do and, and, and how we present ourselves in the world is meant to be a reflection of Jesus. So if Jesus was about radical hospitality, we're called to be about radical hospitality. We're called to do it as individuals. We're called to do it as a parish community. What we've thought about so much over these last months is that God invites us, God calls us, God welcomes us as we are. Even with all of the messiness in our lives, even with all of the brokenness that we have within us, God accepts us for who we are today. God loves us unconditionally. You know, when we started this journey together, we, we began by reading from 1 Peter in chapter 4. And I just want to read a, a couple of verses that take us back to the very beginning of this journey on radical hospitality. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 7, starting. The end of all things is near. Therefore, be serious and discipline yourselves for the sake of your prayers. Above all, Maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Whoever speaks must do so as one speaking the very words of God. Whoever serves must do so with the strength that God supplies, so that God may be glorified in all things through Jesus Christ. To him belong the glory and the power forever and ever. Amen. I think this is such a beautiful scripture, a powerful word, something that has really guided us together as a parish over these months, something that I think, I, I hope, gives us a firm foundation for who God is calling us to be in this moment. Look, throughout the season of Advent, we've been reminded that we're called to be waiting and watching and wrestling. We've been reminded that, that there will come a day when Jesus will return in glory. And the season of Advent invites us to be ready to celebrate again the birth of the Messiah. So we've tried to be disciplined. We've tried to grow in our life of prayer. And like 1 Peter is saying, we're called to be hospitable to one another without complaining. You'll remember when we uh, began this sermon series together, I told you that that was probably my favorite line that would guide us through all of this. To be hospitable without complaining. Look, there is plenty in 2020 that can cause us to complain. There's plenty that you and I have to deal with on a daily basis that can cause us to complain. There's plenty about the other people around us, these other disciples of Jesus that we walk with, that can cause us to complain. But what this letter from 1 Peter reminds us is that love covers a multitude of sins. Love covers your sins and my sins and our sins together as a human people. That love is really at the heart of this Christian life. Love is at the very heart 
of what it means to live radical hospitality. Love is what we celebrate as we prepare for Christmas. This great gift of God's love that is enfleshed in the Christ child. This great gift of God's love that is enfleshed in each and every one of us. That's why we are called to be a people of radical hospitality. Because if 2020 has taught us anything, it's taught us that suffering is real. It's reminded us that there are plenty of people in our world who are hurting this very day. That our mission, our ministry, what you and I can do in this moment is to reach out to those who are around us and remind them that they are loved unconditionally by God. That our God is the one who, who has a place for them. That every single one of us, every single person on this earth today, we belong to God. And since we belong to God, since we can recognize that we are truly God's beloved, we are called to be hospitable to one another. Now look, just because we're wrapping up our sermon series on radical hospitality, it doesn't mean that we just check the box and keep it moving. Instead, radical hospitality, it has to be the very foundation of who we are as individuals and who we are going to be as a church community. That everything you and I will be about in this new year will be about making sure that people know that they belong, that they have a place here in this church, and in churches that like it all around the world. So friends, let's continue to grow in radical hospitality. Let's be reminded that God is inviting every single one of us to share this great gift of God's love in our world. That you and I today have the power to make God's love real and known in the lives of the people that we'll encounter. That's why we're called to, to see each other for who we are, to not judge one another, to, to not hold each other's past over one another, but instead to see the possibilities that God can work in and through every single one of us. That if we really want to live as a community of radical hospitality, we have to first remember that we are loved for who we are and as we are in this moment. That's what's so radical about our God. That God's love for you and me is unconditional. No matter what happens, no matter the things that occur in our life, no matter the messiness and the drama that we might find ourselves in, God's love will always endure. If God can do that for us, we can do that for one another. So friends, I hope that God will bless you abundantly in this Christmas season. I hope that God will fill you with great blessings as we begin this new year. I hope that God will continue to be radical towards every single one of us in the ways that God shows us how much we're loved. And I pray that we'll continue to be a people, a church, a community, a family of radical hospitality. God bless you.